Hello, let's continue this topic. In this video, I will calculate this alternating series and show this series is equal to one half. Here, the Greek letter stands for the Riemann zeta function. In my previous video, I did the calculation for the regular series, which is here. And you can click here to see that video for the details of the calculation. For this alternating series, I will use the same method as in the previous video to handle this problem. And let's get started. Here is the Riemann zeta function in a series form. So first, we write it into the integral form. If you don't know why this series can be written into this integral form, you can click here to see my previous video. In that video, I derive this equation and to show they are equivalent. And next, we subtract 1 on both sides of this equation. And note for the right-hand side, we write 1 as a factorial over factorial. And then we can take out this factor, 1 over k minus 1 factorial. So we got here. And then for this right term, we can write it into the integral form. And if you don't know why we can write it into this integral form, you can click here to see my previous video. In that video, I calculated this integral, which is the gamma function, and to show it equals to k minus 1 factorial. So after replace this factorial term with the integral we got here. And then we group them into a single integral. And next, we take this blue term out. So we need to simplify this green term. So first, we multiply this red term on both numerator and the denominator to the second term. And then we simplify the second fraction term. And finally, we got here after simplify them. And then we plug in to replace this green term. So we got here. And next, we multiply the minus 1 to the power k on both sides. I copy it here. And then we put this minus 1 to the power k and this factorial term inside the integral. And then we take the sum on both sides. And note for this term inside this red box. This term can be written into this way. So we take a negative sign out, and then we merge the negative 1 and x inside the parentheses. And note for this negative sign on the numerator. We will use this negative sign to switch the denominator. So the denominator becomes 1 minus e to the power x. And for this series, I list the first three terms to help you better visualize. And recall the Maclaurin series for the e to the power negative x. This series is uniformly convergent for arbitrary x belongs to real numbers. If we compare them, we can find the above series is just equals to the e to the negative x minus 1. As I mentioned just now, because this series is uniformly convergent for the arbitrary real number x, so we can switch the order for the integration and the summation. And next, we plug in this function e to the negative x minus 1 to replace this series. And then we just do some algebra to simplify it. So first, we multiply e to the power x on both numerator and the denominator. And then for this term inside this purple box, we can distribute this e to the power x inside the parentheses. After simplify it, we got here. And these two terms cancel out. I copy it here. So after cancel out, we got here. And then we just integrate it and we got the one half. So we have calculated this alternating series, which is equal to one half. And here is a bonus question. What about the series for all even terms? And what about the series for all odd terms? You can click here to see the answer in that video. I also put the link in the description box under this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like. That's all for today, and thank you for watching.